Hi, I'm Anya. I'm here to answer your questions about debt and about money. And the first question that we got is about student debt. Why is student loan debt so different from any other type of debt? And this is a really, really important question because it gets to the heart of sort of the debate about young people and money and spending. Um, and the first reason, of course, student loan debt is different from other types of debt is that there's no other type of debt that as an 18-year-old with almost no credit history, no income, that you can walk into and walk out with $50,000 um, you know, in your hands. Uh, so the reason that the federal government created student loans is because we all kind of believe as a nation that it's really important for people to be able to go to college. And for a lot of reasons, which I go into my in my book, Generation Debt, we decided that uh, loans are the way to pay for college. Um, so student loan debt is different from other kinds of debt because it is good debt. And the reason people say that it's good debt is that when you go to college, you are able to increase your income. So really, uh, for, for a lot of people, it does end up being a very good investment to go into uh, student loan debt. Um, now, of course, there are a lot of caveats to that because, you know, as we say, on average, someone with a bachelor's degree is going to make a million dollars more over their lifetime than someone with only a high school degree, but averages are only averages. And there are many, many people who have gotten very in over their heads in student loan debt. It's become very, very damaging. Um, and the rule of thumb that I like to use specifically uh, with student loan debt is that you should not be borrowing more um, in total than your expected annual salary after graduation. So if you are, you know, a future petroleum engineer, um, you're looking at an $80,000 starting salary, then it can make sense then to borrow, uh, you know, up to $80,000 in student loans. If you're a social worker uh, or a teacher, you know, you want to keep that way down below $30,000 because that's going to be your starting salary if you're lucky, if you get that degree. Um, now, the other side of how student loan debt is different from other kinds of debt is what makes it very, very dangerous to take out. And that is this loan, um, this debt is backed by the federal government. There is no bankruptcy protection on any kind of student loan debt, both federal student loan debt and private student loan debt. No bankruptcy protection means that you cannot walk away from this debt. It's not going to be easy to um, write off this loan to negotiate with creditors for any reason, uh, and there have been cases, this has been documented, that your student loans can be, um, in order for their, them to be repaid, if they go into default or into, into delinquency, if you, if you don't pay them back, that the federal government can take your, uh, your IRS tax refund, your, they can take your Social Security payments, even disaster relief payments, if you got some money from FEMA, from Hurricane Sandy, they can take that to pay off your student loans. So um, it's very, very dangerous type of debt for that reason. A lot of people think it's very unfair that student loan debt is treated so differently under the law, when after all, it's for a good reason, and we want people to be able to take out these kinds of loans. 